Good morning, everybody. It's Sally. It's Thursday morning here, a little later than I usually make a video, but I have been, oh, I've had a very busy week, and I have three very busy days ahead. Um, I'm in a play, in a panto, which is a, a British um, style of a show that's very, um, very traditional, there's very specific elements in it. It's humorous, it's, it's musical, it's dancing, it's child-friendly and adult friendly and um, it's an annual thing where I live so I've been fortunate to be in it but I'm pretty pretty spent um, and I'm green lighting my morning getting ready to face three new days and I uh, thought what am I going to talk about I'm going to talk about peace and what does peace mean because I really you know really or rest rest was what I was going to talk about because I really need to figure out how to rest myself up in between all this event we do matinee and evening for three days in a row, and it's a lot of energy. But anyway, it's a joy and a privilege. But I'm feeling a little trepidatious because last night's dress rehearsal, for me, had some faux pas in it, and I've been struggling with that. I um, mean, I ripped, I ripped my skirt trying to brush on stage. I got caught on a handle. I pulled a ribbon. I pulled a sh uh, blouse over my neck that had like a loose ribbon to like pull up the, the neckline, you know, the things you can tie, and it became untied and it opened up and I couldn't get the ribbon back through and I was supposed to be on stage wearing this finale costume, so I had to like tuck it in my underwear, basically, my bra and run on stage. So, and then I, a line kind of got screwed up because I was working with uh, a series of actors and something got off and then I, I just really felt so embarrassed. So, here's what my green light, how am I green lighting this morning? Well, I was on Facebook, as usual, and I saw something that I found immediately when I read it. I felt this peace kind of wash over me, but it wasn't what I was expecting to see for the peace to wash over me. I'll show it to you. I'll see if I can put a link. I don't know if you can even see it. She who is brave is free. I hope that's not going to be backwards when y'all see it. She who is brave is free. Um, and I'll put the link on there. Excuse me, you see the glitter? It's glitter time. I get to wear glitter. It's wonderful. It's the best part. I get to wear glitter on my eyes and be out in public. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I thought about this and how this applies to where I need to green light myself, to release myself, to free myself today from my head and looking back to what happened last night that wasn't is smooth. I mean, I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the songs. I enjoyed the dancing. I enjoyed, but I had this ego in my head, this voice that tells you that wasn't good enough. That wasn't perfect, which we all know. No one's perfect. Nothing's ever going to be. Everything you do, it is good enough. It is good enough. You have to say you are good enough. The effort, the effort was there. Things happen anyway. Um, but the point is, I could stay here all morning and wallow and try to keep going, get that out of, you know. But I thought about applying this to me. Who, she who is brave is free. Where are you in your life that you're not free? And what is it that you have to do to be free? It takes bravery. And even though that doesn't seem very straightforwardly applicable in my situation this morning to me, I know that it's true. I know that it's true. So what kind of bravery am I going to have to dig down deep inside and pull myself upright and look myself in the mirror and say, Voice, your history. Yesterday's history. It's the past. Can't do anything about what happened yesterday. It's forgotten. It'll be forgotten a thousand years from now. I will be forgotten. Well, a hundred years from now, I'll be forgotten. But you get the idea, right? What little stumbles and trips that we have in this life do we need to make sure we do not let haunt us? I feel haunted by last night. I feel haunted with a little regret, a little angst, a little, what if you just been able to focus a little harder and not been thrown off, then you could have delivered your line correctly, and then da-da, and then da-da, and then if you'd been on stage at the proper time, if you hadn't looked at your book too long and looked up and saw everybody was gone, you wouldn't have run and ripped your skirt on the door handle, then you would have had this, and then this leads to that, and then it starts to, you know, it's like dominoes. And I tried to keep my positive attitude until about the end, and then I was just spent. <laughs> so, this was dress rehearsal. Uh, and 
you know what they say about life is not a dress rehearsal? I'm going to spend some time meditating on that too. Because I need to shake off that ghost. I need to be brave, stand up and face that demon. There are demons outside of us. There are, there are ghosts outside of us that confront us. We need to be brave in those scenarios. But where inside do you need to be brave? Do you need to face, face stuff? And call it a name and name it and say, I don't, I don't hear what, I'm not going to hear what you're saying. You, you do not count. You, you voice in my head, you recaller of shame, embarrassment. I refuse to listen to you. You are dead and gone and I'm burying you now. You are a ghost and I banish you ghost. And I will see nothing but clear ahead of me. Clear. Start over. New day. New opportunity. My chance to live. My chance to embrace. My chance to take joy and not have you trying to steal it from me. Does that make any sense to anybody but me? So I'm giving myself a little pep talk. Do you see, as I say these things out loud, I start to feel a little more empowered. Why a little more? Dig on, reach down deep inside you guys and empower yourselves. Get in there and give yourselves that hard talk like the coach before the game. Give yourself that talk of encouragement. And that ghost will shrink that, that fear, that anxiety, that, that personification of you're not good enough. You fucked up. Oh, excuse me. You screwed up. Excuse me. I, <laughs> that will go. And then you focus, focus, focus on the joy and the light and what the good things are that are coming in your day that day. I'm going to focus on that. A new opportunity to be with people that I really, really love and admire. A new opportunity to, to just entertain people. Is it, is it rocket science? No. Is it changing people's lives forever? No. Can I just enjoy myself in the moment? That's where I'm going to focus today. Being fully present in the moment, on that stage, with my people. Glowing, singing, dancing, being happy. So, you know what? I'm imperfectly perfect, and I cannot control everything. I can only do the best with what I have. And determine myself to be brave, to be free. So, you guys make yourselves free today. I cannot tell what's going on and on. Be free today. She who is brave to face her demons, to face her enemy square on. Anything that's blocking you from joy and happiness and in the present moment. Be brave and face it. And there lies the path, the door to your freedom. That's what I'm doing. You guys, green light, green light, green light. You only have now. Don't let anything steal it from you. You only have now. This moment. How many times have you heard me say the same old thing? But it's true. I'll see you next week. Bye.